two of getting square root of numbers using log division. As I told you earlier, today you are going to get square root of a bigger number using log division. Given a number like this one to find the square root, from a previous video, we said that the step one is to pair the digits starting from the right towards the left. And pairing means you pick two digits. So let's pick. So that's one pair, a second pair. But this digit doesn't have a partner. So if it doesn't have a partner, you leave it like that. After that step two, you draw the long division sign. And now you come to the first digit here. You look for a perfect square that is exactly like five. You look for a perfect square that is either five or below it. You can't pick a perfect square that is above it. So either equal to or below. So let's get squares of numbers. One squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, and four squared is 16. So which perfect square is near four, five? So four is near five. And which digit and which squared to get four? It's two. So two times two gives us four. Therefore, now we take away. Five take away four is one. On this side we are taking away, but on this side we are adding. What are we adding? We, are no we normally add the quotient, so plus two, we get four. When we're doing addition, make sure you leave a space here for a box. Now, at that juncture now, we have our quotient two, we have also added, and also we have taken away and remained with one here. So now we drop this pair. You don't drop one digit, you drop a pair. That's why we paired. So our pair is 56. And the new number is 156. Now, we apply what you call trial and error method. You look for a digit that when you put it here, and also put it here, the same digit, when you multiply, it gives you a number exactly as 156 or a number that is near 156. So let's try. And what is going to guide us is the last digit here. Our last digit is 6. So as you're looking for a number, you need to look for a number when you multiply by itself, it ends with a 6. These numbers can either be, it can't be 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So the numbers are either uh, 4 because 4 squared it ends with a 6 which is number 16 another one it's 6 6 squared it's 36 it also ends with a 6 so let's try if you try to put 4 the number will be 44 and here when you put 4 so the, what you, whatever you put here you, so, you also put it there that's why our 4 here we get number 44 and this 4 here now we multiply with it to see that we want to get 156 so let's multiply 4 times 4 is 16 carry 1 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 it's 17 so as you can see this is when you multiply by 4 you are getting 176 which is bigger than 156 now we choose a lower digit like digit 3 so when you put 3 here and 3 here, we will have 43 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. And therefore we pick this one which is nearer 156. So 129 because of 3 and here also 3. Then, <coughs> then we take away 16 take away 9 it's 7. 16 take away 9 is 7, 4 take away 2 is 2. After that, we after that we drop the other pair, which is 9, 6. But remember, after we took away here, we never added here. And the rule says, after subtracting on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side we add. And we are going to add the quotient that we got. So this will be 46, leaving a gap here. This gap is where you're going to put a box and also here put a box. And now we continue. Which and now we continue with the trial and the error method to see which did it when you put it here and here. When you multiply, we get a number equal to this or a number that is near this one. So again, because the number ends with the digit six, we look for a digit when you square it, it gives us either it gives we look for a number that when you square it. 
it ends with a 6. And this number can either be 4 because 4 squared is 6. It can also be 6 because 6 squared is at 6. Let's try to put 4 here. It will be 464 times, because here it's 4, here it's also 4. So times this 4 up here, it becomes 16, carry 1, 24 plus 1, 25, 16 plus 2, 17. Again, this number is lower than this. We try the next one, which is 6. So now we say 466. Because now we are putting 6, also 6 here and also 6 there. So 466 multiplied by 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry 3. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 3, 39. Carry 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3, 27. And now you can see we got 27 and 6 because of digit 6. So we put 6 there and 6 there. And therefore, the square root of 55,696 is equal to 236. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video. Bye-bye.